November 5th, 7 p.m. The meeting is open. And uh, let's go around and uh, please state our names for the record. Gino Fellini. Rick Madden. Art Edgerton. Scott Globin. Sandra Simon. Bob Clark. Mark Sotir. This meeting um, is being made available to the public through a video and audio broadcast on Comcast Government Access Channel for broadcast at future dates. Comments made in open session will be recorded. So uh, we actually have, um, we just met last week, so we have no technical minutes to review at this point. So uh, our first hearing is at 710. So um, is there anything that anybody uh, wants to discuss while we have some, uh, some open time here? Being walked off. We don't have to do the trail being walked We off. don't park because we Because that's on our that's on our agenda. Yeah. I don't, I don't yeah. really know sometimes that. people you come up to you know, little projects they might be thinking about or well, you know, bring to the table. Uh, how, how about how about we should talk about it on the uh, right. engineer to approve the engineers of always forgotten you said what I said plans for the project that we voted on. So you what what do you want to do there? Revote to see if we yeah. should have an, another engineer oversee the job. Yeah. Okay. So in our meeting last week, we had a, a lengthy discussion and we had a vote. Uh, and I know there was two on the nay side of that vote, um, and so the motion passed to have an oversight engineer. So are you proposing? Uh, are you making I'm a proposing motion? That I had made a motion. I thought that during that point that we would go over it this week. I thought that's where we're having this meeting was the point to revise that, and that uh, we would have the information to do so if we want, if we wanted to do so. But to make an uninformed and vote when you ask for paperwork and it's not there to make, you know, I mean, I don't think anybody made a really informed vote, but that, and I think we should. Definitely look at the tape if necessary. So I, I pleaded for this meeting to actually go over this again. There That's what a, I thought I was asking for. Well, there was a uh, there was a motion made to vote on the oversight engineer. There was discussion on the motion, uh, and I believe that uh, part of the discussion was to delay the vote for a week, which got shot down. And then we voted to vote on whether we were going to have the oversight engineer. Is the way it went down. And we can certainly check the tape. So how did this meeting come about then, if that's the story? Because I that, thought well, my because, argument because was clear that I wasn't happy voting this without meeting, information. This meeting came about because we were trying to do our best to expedite what we thought we were going to have revised plans for today to help this project get along. So the reason that we had met today, I in remember my, in I, my, made, I made a motion. In my recollection, today. we continued, but instead right. of doing it every two, in, a, in, a, in an additional week, we said let's meet this week because there were certainly points made last week that there was a time limitation to getting this done before the weather. So I don't think anybody thought it was wise to waste a week in order to meet again and let Weston and Sampson come in with a revised plan that was um, more appropriate and complete for us to review. And that's how I, I, I recall I'm, it. I'm not I, even I was, talking about I was that. aware that there was a meeting on that's the 10th. I was aware that there was a meeting on the 10th and that most of had been decided upon. That's correct. And we got a list of engineers that are assigned to the project now. And we're going to have another engineer oversee. I don't think we need another engineer. Why do we need an engineer to oversee the fisheries? To, to coordinate Has stuff. They're not coordinating. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm going to buy it on that. What makes the fisheries different than any other person who comes before us? That we would, wouldn't have somebody oversee and see what kind of work they were doing, oh. make sure they were doing what they were supposed to, and make sure they weren't doing something they weren't supposed to. Just because they're fisheries doesn't mean they are any different than any other person okay. that comes before us. And I believe okay. also, um, I, I would just say that it wasn't just about the fisheries, it was about the whole park. There's yeah. a lot of complexity to the whole design and I think the engineer wasn't just about the fish mm -hmm. it was about the whole entire project and that's where we saw value in having an engineer and I still see value in that I look at I look at the ADA as a separate entity right it's not that it it's one project it's not it's one project coming before us as one plan and we are the stewards of this no beautiful problem. park and we need to make sure it's done ADA right. is going to be one contractor fisheries is doing the fisheries work, the wet work in the water. 
Then it, been, it should have been two different notices of intent. It's it's one it's one plan, a three phase plan that's brought before us in as one entire plan, right? But there's three elements of that plan, and again, I, I believe that general well the certainly the uh, you know the majority thought that it was wise to have an engineer over oversee that. Uh, you can call it an oversight engineer, a peer engineer, whatever it was, and we thought our best interest in the town's best interest would be served by having that person collectively worked with the Weston and Sampson people and the people from the state of Massachusetts mm -hmm. to have a you know a, so, a final good project. So the engineer project. that you're going to hire is going to oversee the uh, Department of uh, Marine Fisheries and tell them what elevations and to check their elevations may, may and, and everything else. Sure, Rachel. This to verify what something. they're doing. This is something that you folks do routinely for, for certain projects. You hire a peer reviewer yep. as an overseer, not to tell people what they can and can't do, but to just make sure that the Conservation Commission's uh, interests are being looked out for. That's all. So that once you folks um, approve this notice of intent and an order of conditions is issued, that everything that's in those conditions is being met. That's all. It's not someone to stand there and wag their finger at fisheries. It's to make sure that the best interests of conservation are being met. That's all. In fact, it was my belief that having the oversight engineer would actually help speed things up <laughs> and not slow it down. Well, so you know that that's what we voted on, and uh, you know that's did, that's what's in play. Um, unless somebody's I, making. I motion. would have preferred that I was made privy to a meeting that was held with all these people that um, we are overseeing that I think the information gathered on the 10th of that meeting should have been brought forth before we made any votes uh, on anybody with information that was regarding it about how the meeting went. If what they, meeting are you talking about? Yeah, I'm trying uh, to on, go back on the in my 10th, mind. There was a meeting that we weren't Tenth there. Of what? Um, October. October 10th? Yeah, October 10th. Oh, yeah. This was Ed Thorne, Bill Bolter, and you, I believe. I wasn't there. Brad Chase. I, I wasn't there. I don't think I was there. No, no. Well, we wouldn't be None there. Of there none, none of us were. None of us were there. So, I mean, it's something that we didn't have nothing to do with. Else. Um, I was told different. You may have been told Basically, different. Basically, I don't want to get into who said who what, where, but obviously, people that could have had information brought to us if we knew we were making a decision, they're the applicant. <coughs> it's normal that you get the information in front of you before you start voting on what you're going to do. Just Any general terms. I'm I not, I, I'm not here to argue. I would prefer I have information before me then. Nobody else has to prefer it. I don't know who else would prefer to have information. It appears you have more relevant. information about this meeting than I do. Yeah, because I and came in and asked for it. you're not getting it from, your, I, I from the people that voted on last I, week. I got this from our secretary. We had the, I we get it the from, yeah, from the secretary. And that's why we looked to have an engineer review them. They were absolutely well, incomplete. That from me. And, and, well, with, I, with, I, in any good faith, nobody sitting at this table should say that those plans were complete. I thought what we voted on was the plans were... The gentleman who presented us the plans last week were incomplete, and all we were looking for was a complete set of plans, and that's when we decided to bring our engineer in to review it. Nobody was saying yes, no, or indifferent. We just yeah. we didn't have all the answers we were looking for. Well, I'm just thinking we should wait till after the meeting tonight to decide that rather than well, We've already it's decided. already been decided. Right. Well, yeah. So, right. And so I asked for a revote, but I don't think that's going to change anything, Bob. I, I just want it done. Really, I, I think I would we. Just I like think the we all. Project do. done, but when when, a, when an engineer comes in and proposes something to us, I think he has. I think he needs all the answers we're, we're asking him. And apparently, the gentleman didn't have it, and right. it sounded like he wasn't the gentleman who prepared the plans. So uh, apparently, he's going to be here tonight. And, he's here. and I don't he, know that. He is here. I've, I've seen him. Yes. Okay. Therefore, I'm saying that we should <coughs> vote for an engineer to not have an engineer ought to have an engineer after we hear what he have to, have to say, say if he answers all our questions. Well, I think we already have voted, so you well, have I, to I undo think, a vote. I, I so, think that that was kind well, of a, can re a slide so just deal. From a, from a, I really don't. You can't I'm just going to say it. That was a slide deal. 
Whoa, whoa. No, you're not going to say well, that. Yeah, that was no slide deal. We were in an it was done meeting. above we the day. Because I, you didn't understand what I was asked going for on. That work. Mean a fact. That I is, asked for paperwork that is, to be presented if there wasn't. Wait a minute. Order. It was never presented Order. to me as a commissioner. Just stop one second. All right. We had a, a motion that was made. A motion was seconded. We had probably 10 minutes of discussion mm -hmm. on the motion prior to voting. So I don't think anybody can say that whatever was voted on wasn't wide open and legitimate. Uh, that's that's just a wrong statement. Um, right. Now, from a factual matter, if you want to make a motion to rescind the vote and then it's seconded and we vote on it, that can that can happen right now. So that's well within your right to make a motion to rescind or take a vote on rescinding last week's vote. That's absolutely in your purview to do that. I would if I thought it would change it. Well, again, you, you have the right to do that right now. Mm -hmm. So I'm telling you, if you want to do that, all right. raise, make a motion. If you I don't make want a motion to, to right. re-vote. All right, that, that motion has to be seconded. Second. All right, a motion has been made and seconded. Can we have like a, maybe a little more specific re-vote? Well, what we, what we voted on. Well, yeah, so what we voted on was to have a review engineer oversee the project, and that's what you're asking to be re-voted. Re -voted. Okay. So uh, a motion has been made and seconded to vote on whether we're going to rescind our last week's vote, which was to have an oversight engineer look at this, manage this project for us, the Conservation Commission. So all those in favor of rescinding last week's vote to have the oversight engineer, raise your hands. Aye. All those opposed. Okay. So the motion is denied. It's official. No. All right. But we went through a process. Okay. Um, All right. So. Just to, the paperwork I had asked for, just to uh, make it clear, was looked for up on the counter in the other room, and then didn't have it. Then I was told it was actually on the counter. So mistakes get made. I still think. What paperwork you? Are you if you're I wouldn't know. Because this, there was a report that I asked for that wasn't given up. This or last something week. like that's it was all on the table That's last all I'm saying, Bob. What, 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 what report are you asking hands for? And raise I wouldn't know because I didn't get it. Well, how could we? The give paperwork. It? How could I give you a report there was if nothing, you don't know the, what you okay, want? Okay, look, we can get into what this, that, and the paperwork. Bottom line, we need to be better informed as a commission when asked. And that's I all think, I'm going to say. I think we continually strive to do that every week. Right. And make sure the lines of communication are open and everybody has a voice. Right? That's what we want. I, I felt the same way that I didn't have all the information and that's why I voted for to have the overseer. I, I, right. I feel the same way. I mean I think, you know, that's we, we were we were furnished with an incomplete set of plans that literally didn't tell us everything we needed to know. Right. Right. And I don't know if that's gonna change tonight or not. We'll yeah. see. But um, you know, again I think but we, we also, want to make sure our best interests are served. I, I do not like to we also had a presenter who wasn't prepared to present and take and answer the questions that the board had. Right. So between the right. two of them, we accomplished nothing. And I think that's another reason why we decided to expedite what could have been next week's meeting to tonight, because we don't want to delay this, and we're showing good faith to get this thing done. But of course, we need the correct information in front of us to vote to get it done. I have a question. Do we have that observer here tonight? No, they're, they're we do. The Weston and Sampson yeah. representative. No, I saw the, him the one that we hired to, to uh, the oversee. The engineer. Yeah. No. no. So no. why don't why don't we just talk about that process and where that is at this time? The oversight engineer. We haven't hired anyone. So I, I was under the understanding we were going to get somebody to come in. Well, I think meeting. I think we need to um, make sure that gets done quickly. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to delay that. We do we have a short list of people we're yes. looking at? Okay. So can we? Uh, but I, I really don't think we can have him come in until we have a complete set of plans from the look. I, I agree with about coming in, but we need to get somebody on the books that yeah. this is our it's oversight difficult. engineer. It's difficult to hire someone if I don't have a complete set of plans because that's kind of how they base their work. Well, they, I think they have to have something to look at to get mm -hmm. an idea of how much they might charge. Okay. I think we at least have a format of what we're looking at, right? There's a three-phase plan that, you know, again, we know what we... The plan is incomplete, but the... The intent is somewhat uh, understood, so uh, hopefully somebody could uh, should it, you know, should get been, us. And I'm asking, to that should point. have been filed in different stages: the water wheel, the handicap stuff, 
and then the reconstruction down there. I, I don't know. I'm asking. That isn't that isn't so for us moved, to decide. So That's for somebody that comes before it, us to decide. It, it can do that. I mean, there's, there's no, you know, uh, the handicap accessibility. Is, it can be done in the spring or next summer. Well, I, I think you're going to end up at this stage of game doing the handicap work next year anyhow. Unfortunately, right. Yeah. You know, but we just deal with what comes in front of us. We right. don't, but was, we don't decide how people should have been fly. broken up. Right. So we could have voted on the water wheel and getting that going for you, then the handicap stuff. Yeah. And so, so the only thing I'd say about the we have all the engineers and Brad Chase and all that stuff here. So what time is this? Yeah, we're ready. We're ready to go. We just wanted to make sure that everybody had yeah, their concerns heard before this started tonight. So I got involved in it because some of the guys didn't have the complete set of plans. So why don't, why don't we get this on the agenda? Let's get everybody in and let's start officially talking about it on the record. Okay. Are they? Uh, is there a room open, Bill? The big room. Which one? The big room. The select runs are off. Doing the uh, tax the last location. Okay, still okay. <coughs> the spread out the last week. He the 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 for Herring Run Brook, uh, filed by Thorn, DEP file number not yet issued. Application includes a request for Herring and Fisheries Commission to perform maintenance work. So, um, is anybody here representing Herring and Fisheries that wants to talk about I would this? Really talk about it. You want to start? Okay. Yeah. The, uh, no, I want the NOI is, is to cover the legal part of allowing the Herring and Fisheries people to be in the river. Okay. They have. The laws say they can do the work, but there's no, no, nothing on the book that gives them an exemption from the Wetlands Protection Act. And the Wetlands Protection Act says any work in a, in a uh, area like that has to have a notice of intent or an exemption. And ne nobody has been able to come. We've asked for the last six months for someone to point out an exemption in the law, which there should be. Uh, it's not. It should be a state exemption, but no one seems to have one. If they don't have one, I want to cover our stuff in this town and give the Heron Run people a blanket to work in between the banks of the Heron Run from Oldham Pond to the North River for maintenance work as described in the memo from Brad Chase in 2016 March or somewhere in that that general area that outlines what the Heron pe fisheries people do to do normal maintenance, and so that means that that work is covered legally and you people. Know. Okay, so is there any discussion on this? Seems like it makes all the sense. So it looks like you're looking for a uh, a ruling somewhere that says that Heron Commission has a blanket to do their work right. in the in the rivers. So they don't have to keep coming in front. Well, they do their normal maintenance. Yes, what, normal so maintenance. Well, we have one with the DPW, basically the same way. It says the DPW can work in the buffer and the side of the highway. Other than that, every time they went off the side of the highway, theoretically they had to come before mm -hmm. the board. Just for in this case, yeah, it's just doing. For and what brought this on? Just so you know, what brought it on is some other towns in the state knew how we were handling it and asked us. How do you handle it? Can you show us how you handle it? Well, we look pretty stupid saying, well, here, how we're handling it is we're not looking. We're turning our back on what is the problem. So here we want to take care of the problem. Now we're, if we pass this, we're legal. Right. We've said, you go ahead and do your maintenance work in the in the river, between the river backs. Would you care for any examples of what that maintenance could be to help clarify? No, I think I have an idea okay, what, so what's uh, intended right. by this. I, I would. Okay, I'll, well, I was going to ask one of you guys for it, actually. You're well, I there, don't know where it would start. Brad has a whole, you know. has a right. whole yeah. thing yeah. that he's already yeah. written and filed yeah. with us, and they were thought we had already accepted it for all work. Would you like to speak on it, Brad? What are doing now? If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer it. I drafted the plan, I think, in 2016 at the request of the Conservation Commission and the Heron Commission, and it's, um, it's a typical... Uh, process that occurs now. I, I draft plans for towns to consider. The towns will review them and vote on them. 
they're usually done as a vote by the Conservation Commission or even the Conservation Agent under administrative review. Um, and so we support the concept. Um, I'd be happy to redraft the plan if folks wanted to make some adjustments to it. Or, Do we even have a copy of it? Yeah, we have. Yeah, we it, definitely have copies of it. Uh, it should be on yeah. file. Yeah. What it does, I think, is it connects the, the authority of the Division of Fisheries to open passage for sea run fish and the wetlands protection. Yeah. Yeah. And so the proper vehicle is to have the Conservation Commission approve it. It can be written so that town officials are doing the work or even volunteer citizens. That's clarified in the plan. And it's really at the, you know, the interest of the town how they want to go, but I'd be happy to... Yeah. Um, uh, Brad, Brad also, it's for general maintenance. In other words, special projects still need to be handled separately. Right. It's really for debris buildup, for vegetation overgrowth. Yeah. We don't want to see too much cleaning or clearing. Um, you don't want to leave a nice canopy in, in the stream. It's that, that annual buildup of debris and vegetation that can actually stop fish from migrating from the ocean to the fresh mm -hmm. water. So we think that the plan is necessary to allow these things to happen. Okay. Usually hand maintenance. Hand maintenance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, do just one thing. <coughs> what about where there's a fish trap in the system, like in Pembroke, where we actually have an old fish trap we're trying to get rid of? Would that be, what you would mean, that fall into? You mean like a fish way? Or? Yeah, it's the fish trap at the Herring Run Park. Which one is The that? inside line has always been a fish trap. Okay. The right went to market, the left went to oh, spawn. See. So that is a fish trap and an impediment. Yeah, I, I would say structural work probably needs additional review and additional authorizations. I, I, I would agree with you. Right. So it's, it's, that's, that's kind of the break point. Right. It's really the, you know, the buildup of debris, vegetation growth, um, trash, those type of things that, you know, can really stop fish. I move we issue an order of conditions allowing the Heron Fisheries Commission to do normal maintenance in the Heron Run River bed from Olden Pond to the Norfolk. A motion has been made. Do we have a second? A second. second. Motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Unanimously passes. And just uh, for the record here, please note that any person aggrieved by this decision has the right to appeal within 10 business days. Please contact our office or DEP if you need assistance. All right. That is done. Thank you. And Brad? Uh, Bob had mentioned Wetland Protection Act permitting. Do you, did, maybe you answered and I didn't get it. Mm -hmm. Do you need permits to do that work? When you say me. Well, well, I mean the uh, Department of Marine Fisheries to do the, uh, the, the, that, the work in the stream that's going to be sandbagged, put up, putting up the walls oh, and the weirs. Yes, that's a different topic, really. Oh, and, okay. And, and for us, um, the way that connects, I believe, with the Wetlands Protection Act is that the Conservation Commission should still approve those activities. Mm -hmm. But if it's an existing fishway, it can be approved through a request of determination of applicability. Mm -hmm. If it's an existing fishway, and that's that's the opinion of our agency. The the laws that allow us to provide fish that's passage fish. date back to the 1930s and 40s. So they predate the Wetlands Protection Act. Yeah. And so the way we feel that we can connect this for existing fishways, for predating fishways, um, we think that an RDA is, is the right vehicle to approve the reconstruction of those fishways. If it's a new fishway, then we need a notice of intent in our estimation. And I see the next question that's going to come up is, because what, what's coming down there where you're making the ponds for steps up. Mm -hmm. Is that new or, or existing? Now, uh, oh, now, that, that, now uh, just because I know that will come up yeah, in the at next... The park? At the, yeah, at the Herringbrook Park? Yeah. Well, it, it is combined in, in the notice of intent for the water wheel. So right, that, but I mean, that's why I'm, that's why I'm if, saying the RDA to, to notice... If it was independent of the water wheel, I would say an RDA because yeah. it's an existing fish run. And the work is really quite modest by, by my opinion. So, but I think by combining with a water wheel, it's covered by the notice of intent. Yeah. Okay. That's, so, I, I just want to do, you know, save us some time, a half again, hour from now. My opinion might not be a conservation commission's too. Mm -hmm. So, if, if we, we, I think we will probably go along with your opinion on those things like that. But every every commission's different. 
but I think existing structures, you know, that predate the Wellness Protection Act, um, it's a pretty easy argument to say they should be reconstructed without too much difficulty because mm -hmm. they, the structures are necessary under the other state statutes to allow these fish to enter from the ocean. Uh, well, we're talking about reconstruction. Is is there a, a chance to have a sketch of what the reconstruction would be rather than just having a nothing? Now, I would like to just see a, a sketch because other than that, theoretically, the two foot walls could be four foot, right? You know, and all that. so something that just keeps it similar to what it is there. Sure, I, I saw the discussion on, from the previous hearing. And it sounds like the commission would like more detail to what. Yeah, you know, just a little more detail. detail <laughs> and I, I think what we sh can do is go out and take elevations and and show where the weirs are going to be. The first three or four weirs will be just manual stones, just yeah. placement of stones. But we can still mark out elevations, and then the upper two weirs um, may need a concrete foundation as you get into the old millworks. Yeah. Yeah. And so what we can do is is provide more detail to those, and, and uh, including yeah. elevations step increases, four to six inches per step increase. And, um, and the, the lower weirs can be reconstructed at any time because they'll be hand-placed stones. Mm -hmm. And so if they happen to be disrupted, then we work with the commission, the Herring Commission, to um, fix them. And then the upper ones probably need to have a con concrete form to make them a little more stable. So I think that's fine. If, if you guys would like more detail, we can provide that. The gentleman last week mentioned about some granite blocks. Is that in your part of the? That, that's part of the wall stabilization. Because so you, you talked about bringing a machine in to do that. Yeah, uh, we, we, we've got a small excavator that um, you know you guys can condition as you think is necessary. But we would like to move the granite blocks with the, the excavator to to reconstruct the walls. Is that the existing two walls that basically we run, used to run in front of the shack? Yeah. Ooh. One's concrete on one side yeah. and another one's stone. stone. And so I think the idea is to reconstruct them, make them look nice with granite and stone, uh, but, but use a machine to, to, to make the work easy. But um, no changes to the footprint of the wall, just reconstruct them, stabilize them, and, and make them look nice. I think um, this discussion is kind of bleeding into the hearing, so yeah. we should probably get the hearing on record, so just okay. so we can officially officially do it. Yeah, we're, we got the time, so. so um, this is a continuation of the Notice of Intent Hearing uh, for the Herring Run Park, 211 Barker Street, Thorn, DEP file number, SE0561025. Application includes ADA updates, relocation of water wheel, and restoration of existing fish ladder. So, is uh, the engineer from, uh, there, there he is. Hey. Good evening, how are you? Good. Are Come, you on. Drink two coffees in? Come on in, yes. Thank you. Thank you. I can do that. That's fine. Do you have your easel? Do we have an easel that we can run? As long as you guys don't have enough way. I can't. I'd rather have an easel. Thank you. I think we should probably try to work off one if we can. Yeah. It's just there's just not enough room on this table. Okay. So, do you, do you have an easel? I do not. We need to we need to get an easel. We need to get this in the air just so we can do this in an organized fashion. Is there one in that other room? I'd be happy to go get it. Even if you uh, you know, pro that, that's fine. That's fine. Let's 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 do that. Okay. So just, again, real quickly, Mel Higgins from Weston Sampson. I brought Scott Russo from Weston Sampson, also an engineer, and then Brad Chase, who you know, as well, for a couple of other questions. Uh, we, sub we updated the plans based on last week's discussion and comments. We submitted uh, a letter that has had all the comments and all the responsive comments. And we're here to answer other questions that you might have. Okay, so last week we had determined that uh, you know in the plan that you had, that we, you know, there wasn't setbacks, there wasn't elevations, there wasn't um, you know a, a lot of detail was missing. So have you uh, brought in and you know have you updated? What have you updated? Yeah, so we do have the elevations now. You can see contour lines throughout here. 
Uh, we have you know scale bars, the north arrow, uh, the complex filter tubes for erosion control are on the plane. Let me ask a, a question that we had a little earlier. Yeah. Is there a benchmark on this project? That, I don't know. Did you ask that last time? No, but we came up this week in discussion, and the reason, I'll tell you, the reason it came up is that at the water wheel, it says we're going to be digging down 18 inches or some, some figure. Well. Yeah. 18 inches from what? Right. You know, without a without a benchmark, without some more there, 18 inches from the water level, 18 inches from the bottom. You know, it just left it wide, sure. wide open without you know, coming down. So, so that was how it came about. Maybe other spots, but it just happened that that was picked out while we were reviewing plants. Well, I did ask that same <laughs> question of uh, Anthony's early previously. I think they at the very least have a relative benchmark. Elevation for the water wheel. Yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah, I was hoping that somebody must have had one there somewhere. Yeah, we have the uh, elevation survey data, which is what we add on here to create contours. I'm sure. Yeah. 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 You know, with the water wheel, we always say we definitely need something to work it off of, and uh, we couldn't find it. Just as uh, another point of order, I may have noticed that the butters were sent down. Did we get, did we collect green cards from the butters? No. Did we, did we ever get green cards from the butters? No. Yeah. 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 I think I can't remember if we did. Yeah. 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 So, so we're we have that's covered. It, yeah, you need to see it's. We haven't discussed it with you as a group. It's um, relatively new to us, even. Um, rather than asking them to fill out green cards and the receipts, it's just a um, one sheet of paper that the post office issues. It's called a certificate of mailing. Okay. Um, it's not the same, but I suppose it's. it's but but it, it is a, it's allowable. It's, a, it's, a okay. it's allowable. Okay. allowable. That's fine. I just right. want to make sure we didn't leave that up. Any act is allowable. No, we're not the test page. So no. It's been done. It years. saves all the green cards. It okay. says, it, what it basically says is the post office sent these people no this, this information. It doesn't say that they got it. It just says that they so were sent it. Not it. Not what the regulations now say you're going to send it. Right, but we still can't accept green cards. Right. Right. Both of them are allowed. Right? Okay, thank you. Find a benchmark, and as Brad says, he there what probably is one, but some of the drawings, some yeah, there has to be one. Right. Yeah, there has to be something that you too long to the hole. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah. So can you can you do that for us, Mel? So. Oh, what's that? Just talking about the uh, the sequence of events and how you plan to uh, you know to get through this. Sure. So the, basically, there's going to be three large picture parts of the puzzle here. Big picture part one is we're going to reinstall the water wheel. Big picture part two, if it works out in the timing, and Brad can speak a little bit to this, uh, we'd like to do uh, Brad's part as far as the uh, channel improvements and putting in the weirs. Um, and then the last part would be the ADA accessible pathway. Before any of this works, of course, we put in the erosion controls which we have on the plans, uh, and they would stay up until CONCOM has approved that they, the project is complete and we can remove them. Um, and I don't know if we need to go into more detail as far as that's concerned or... What would it involve with your company 
to split this project into the ADA part separate from the other two things. Uh, I don't understand. Yeah, the two parts. In other words, the water wheel and the and the improvement for the fish thing. Yep. From my standpoint, I see that those are could be done relatively quick. I look at the ADA things and I just see a long, drawn out nightmare trying to get that done and to hold everything up for you know, the ADA path that uh, where the other ones were basically almost ready to go. Right. It's it's our company's belief that we could do the ADA work in say three weeks. So we don't feel that it is going to be a long drawn out process. All right, as long as you're already ready to take the heat for three weeks and take it off of our our back, then you know it have you have you had any um, correspondence with the town has an ADA representative. Um, have you had any correspondence with that person and are they aware of what you're doing there? And do and do you I, need to? I haven't had any correspondence. I don't know if the engineer who designed this has or not something I can look into. Okay. And technically, I don't, I don't know the answer to the question. I'm just Thank asking you. it. What, what is the answer? The answer is no. He has not seen this plan until he had not seen this plan until I presented it to him. And so, as far as he's concerned, that portion of it shouldn't even be presented at this point because he hasn't finalized it with the engineers. Which portion? The ADA. So it's in his right to, or it's in his job description to basically be part of this as far as the scope of the making sure it fits the approvals of that he understands yes. that the ADA has to be complied to. So is that part, of, is he part of the planning board or? No, he um, works okay, under the so town administrator and board of selectmen. So in theory, the Hong Kong could approve the project, but we would also then need to get his approval. We could do it conditionally, yeah, right. based on his approval. Okay. Sure. Yeah, yeah. but I, I just, I just wanted to bring up that. No, that's good. I, where the town has a representative, but we need absolutely. to get him in the loop and, uh, and make sure that he signs off on everything from his perspective. And what's his name? Brandon Goldman. I can write down his contact. And yeah. Isn't Tom the ADA guy? Mm -hmm. Isn't Tom the ADA guy? Well, he used to be. Like Brandon's sure. doing all oh, the work. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Sure. Sophisticated work. Oh, okay. I remember seeing Tom all over the place. Yeah. Well, Tom was Tom was originally entered into this some years ago when we were trying to get the ADA plan down there, and it was denied. Um, but he, he said where he would like to go, where the wheelchairs wanted to go, and all that. That's why yeah. this plan was done the way it was. Uh, I so, just like I so said, I thought it was Tom. I didn't realize it was yeah, somebody Tom, new. Tom did have input into hmm. the plan originally, but, it was so so but uh, now they have a new person that does all the paperwork. Oh. Oh. <coughs> well, I guess the other part of common sense is I, I had another question with this. So you had talked about phase one being the, the water wheel, right? But, but wouldn't it be the the footings and the foundation for the water wheel? Doesn't that, yeah. wouldn't that get placed at a later time, maybe even in the spring, based on what happens? Well, water wheel itself with the water wheel. Yeah, I mean, getting, you know, getting the, the structure in yeah, place, you know, right. obviously is important. So you would think that in the in the work, in some, you know, the fishway work would be number one, right? The placement yeah. of the, the wheels. Is, the the wheels tie into that. Yeah. Right, but right. the placement but of the wheel itself is kind of, you know, it, it's a secondary thing, right? It's no. not as important. You the pedestals and the right. base. No, 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 right. but the placement of the wheel. I'm saying all of, all of that foundation, the installation of, of the, wheels, the wheel itself. Yeah, that could be done in the spring yeah. as well with the ADA if, if you well, want to wait for it. Yeah, both. right. Whatever it they want to do it. Um, okay. My concern, no, just quick concern, is what if they need room to work um, and it's outside of that footprint by five, six, seven feet? There's a lot of non invasive, a lot of invasive species clustered all around that. There's uh, seven sisters roses that eat people. And um, at one point, those would be a nuisance to work with what is our, I mean, do we need to cross that bridge now? Yeah, yeah. Would that be a, is a, if we accept a work zone, right. then you have to go through something expanding the work, the work zone. So in talking about the foundation for the, we've been saying water well, I right. think 
saying water wheel, we're not talking about the physical aluminum water wheel. We're talking about the base parts, just so yep. we know foundation. Things. We don't have to keep doing. It. But doing that, we need to have uh, know where we're going to put the spoils that's being dug. In other words, we need some of this information somewhere before we rip before we really approve it. We need to know when you the dig, where is it going to be put? Yeah. yeah, what's yeah. going to be done to keep the stockpile from running into the river. Well, the little things that we know are going to be taken care of, but they still need to be on the drawing like somewhere, example, even if it's only a, a note. description of a silt right. swath? Yeah, yeah. yeah they're, like they're right here. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm thinking about the excavation, yeah. it's going to be yeah. very minimal. Yeah. It's just there. Yeah. Yeah. I got them here. I hope you're right. I got some. Yeah, I have. <laughs> I have suspicion there. that as soon as they I didn't put it there, the looked. ground underneath there, you're going to get into some big That's it right here. rock. Because the old timers built those things with field sown as bases. So I think right here, you're going to find underneath everything that you've got yeah. a lot of field. And that whole area is field earlier. to begin with. So. I I'd like to think you're going to be able to dig a nice square they foundation on, they and pour it, but week's I'm they weren't somewhat okay, afraid that that may not be the case and we should okay. at least so have so that in size. mind and I so think that, that we don't get started and have to yeah. I think if we do have spoils, I, I think that. there's plenty of room right in this area to, you know, where we can put them. As long as we can hit them there, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we would park, you know, we could have the mini excavator right here on the edge, reach over, scoop it, dump it. Yeah. If you had, it, you could yeah. always. Can if you're worried about it, you could always put it in those big bags. Mr. Bolter, yeah. you know. Um, the, the only thing I'd like to say is that um, that particular area is, is a fish trap area, and there's a lot of fish been killed there over, over the past. And that's one of the reasons that the Division of Marine Fisheries jumped in to, to try to get this done so that the fish can pass there better. So we have the spring coming up, and uh, I don't think it's going to be feasible for us to do it in the spring prior to, um, you know, the fish coming up on the migration. So what we would like to do is to put the structure in for the water wheel, right? Everywhere. And then do the fish way to get that done this fall. Right? And later. after we get that done, then we can finish up the rest of the stuff at any time that's convenient because we're in a window of opportunity uh, because of the fish. So there's only a certain amount of time that we can work on the stream, so which would be middle to the late part of November, with, you know, on the first part of December, depending upon the temperature, so you, you can't pour cement, um, you know, in any other time, and then the spring is the same way, and then you get the fish coming up, so sometimes we see fish in March, so I mean, even if you plan to try to do something in March, it's not going to work, and I don't think it's going to work with Brad's schedule to try to do something in the spring either, but... So you know, I think like that's why we need your expertise and uh, yeah. this pull well to, yeah, we can't afford Right now, three weeks for a plan and advertising, hearings, another two weeks wow. after that. And that brings us back into middle January before we could give you the okay to do anything. And I'm just looking at it from what I think is your, your and Brad's thing. You need to get the, foot, the shovel in the ground. Um, and we can't do that with ADA cash right at the moment. I don't, right. I don't see it. Yeah, you, you probably have about a, an eight, you know, How at the most an eight week window right spoils. now to work. Right. Bagging the spoils. Well, they have those big bags yeah, they use. Again, you can lot, just bag the spoils if you want to about they can do it too. Yeah. migrating, you so know. So there's no problem putting it in phases. I mean, we right. can do phase one, phase two, and phase three or whatever, right. if that's what you mm -hmm. I think that's a sensible approach. We can do that. The other thing is we can't approve the plan as it is submitted right the NOI as it is submitted now because the ADA part of it doesn't have anything that we can approve on, even yeah. if it's phased. And so that's, you, that's so the process why it needs to be broken off. So, so what, what isn't there on, that you would yeah. need for approval? A plan that could be built. I mean, that's that's at best a concept that doesn't, doesn't show really anything as far as being a buildable plan. I mean, as far as being phased, it's fine to be phased. You know, we're going to put it off till now, but we got to know what we're putting on. We aren't putting off here. Once we vote an NOI, we said, yeah, we've accepted this. Well, you're going to hand this plan to a contractor, say, here's the path, put it in, because they already approved it. You know, and that's just not an acceptable 
thing. I don't believe anyone. I, I think, I think uh, you know, from my perspective, um, I, I agree with uh, some other comments that what's truly important here is getting the work done uh, in the water and around the water that needs to be done before the weather, right? So that's, that's paramount here. And the other stuff obviously is important in the general scheme of things, but not necessarily time sensitive as this. So I would like to see it separated to get the stanchions built, the foundations, the footings, what, you know, whatever we have there, any of the uh, any of the stonework that has to be done, any of the work that has to be done in the water while it's still running and not not frozen, you know, that's that's what I would like to see uh, accomplished and and expedited, and then we can take our time and, and you know do the other things the way they're supposed to be done. And again, we're not worried about the clock okay. uh, and the calendar. At the, at well, the again, I, just I believe that then you may you may say a more October stuff, but I think you could drop the ADA part of it off this NOI and use the NOI that's before us for only the water wheel and the fish ladder and then have a different NOI for for the ADA part. Because you can, you can my understanding is you can take an NOI and lessen it. It's when you're trying to add to it that's where you, you run into the problem. But you may have to check with, you know, the people. Right. In charge. Just my interpretation. That's not fine with me. Okay. I'm not in charge, but um, <laughs> as far as brush uh, again, and like Ed, you know, Ed Thorne is the is the applicant, but I'm yeah. sure that he would go. Do you have anything to add to that, Mr. Thorne? Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, well, well, there he is. Oh, here he is. Okay. okay. But I, but I, uh, no, I'll acquiesce to the conservation commissioner about their, uh, their you know, their compromise. I think it. I think it uh, goes to serve everybody's interests uh, in, in a timely fashion. Uh, Rick, you had something to add. Yeah, um, when you work in a park or something, you know, and, and say something gets damaged, like um, an invasive briar that's a pain in the butt, um, you're not going to hold the person responsible like you would for a nice tree, right? You know, I'm just saying, there's briars hanging over into the water. I cut them out every year, right hanging right into the place. If there's anything, in, you know? if there's anything within the, the scope, the scope of okay. the thing, it, it can be taken care of anyway. Okay, that, that's I would expect it would be taken care of. You have invasives there. Right? Yeah, yeah. And, and things in the way that are going to hamper the project. Right. They're just invasive junk. As long as it's inside of the scoped area, you can... We can volunteer yeah. to take it out. Yeah, and the say. engineering people... <laughs> Don't right. say it's all right to do it. Then. Yeah. We'll take it out. Yeah, I could uh, assist in that if somebody wanted to, to cut it back. So from a technical standpoint, do we have to uh, amend this NOI? Well, we can't, uh, we can't amend the NOI until we're asked to do that. So, but we can talk about a section of another. We can do more at the water wheel stanchion and Fish line. In other words, we can do a lot, get a lot of that ready. We're probably going to have to have a meeting next week if we can get an, an amended NOI to us. See, they have to bring it to us. Right. We can't give it to them. Okay. So, so for the amended NOI, is, I've never done. Is there a form for that, no. or is just, just updated? Updated. Yep. So we'd be changing the impact numbers. Again, again, I think we got to check. You got to. You want to talk with yeah, some of the DEP long before. Yeah. You know, to make sure they agree with how we're going to do it. Brad, is that something that um, a D, you know? Are you in favor of this plan and doing it in this fashion? Yeah, I guess the timing is, is a question as to when you would need more detail back from us on the weirs. And um, so, if the meeting's next week, that seems kind of. Yeah. Well, I would. I, I mean, it is not a meeting schedule. We, we typically meet every other week, but we're, we've been we met you know out of schedule this week to try to expedite well, this, and we would do the same next week in, in yeah. the effort of have, trying to. It would be Monday because that's Veterans Day. That's Veterans Day. Yeah. So we could meet another day next week. Well, Tuesday. So well, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to schedule a meeting if you can't. When do you think you could have your? I need. I need to get my crew out, take some elevations, uh, match it up with a benchmark, and then produce a schematic for you guys that shows better detail to where the weirs are going to be, and the concrete to the two concrete weirs, and then the three to four hand-placed stone weirs. And I guess work with 
you guys know on, on getting it into your plans. Yes. Or having an independent sketch of our own, whichever works best. Yep. But um, I guess I need to find out what that benchmark is from you guys, and then we have to schedule a day for next week. Can I turn that around before Thanksgiving? That's probably the question. So it's, it, do you think it's feasible to you know have something by Wednesday or Thursday of next week if we met off schedule? I think a lot depends on the town. If you guys really want to make this happen, if, um, Thursday. You know, we can't do our work until the foundation is set for the water wheel. Right. So we're going to sequence our work after that. And so I just don't know, you know when you know, when that's likely to happen. Our, our concrete work is going to have to wait till after the spring because it's going to get it'll be too late for us to do that work. But we can come in once the water, water wheel foundation's in, and we can do our hand placement. So we can do that in December, you know, whenever. But I, I guess a lot depends on when you guys think you can get the, the foundation work done. Yeah. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> That's cool. good. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what. We'll we'll have a crew out next week to get our measurements, and then we'll just do the best we can to work with with Mel to get those. You know, the plan D two I think needs to be enhanced. And so I, that's the goal is to get better detail to page D2. Right. Yeah. And so it's probably easier if we provide the data to Mel and then he puts that in. So you'll see better definition to the dimensions of the weirs, the place from the weirs, and set to elevations. That would be beautiful. Yeah, is that, would that be sufficient? I think it's, I think it's sufficient now. Uh, you know, again, I just want to try to get some clarity on the timeline, right? So, you know, if, if you're talking about having that done by Thanksgiving, right, then we're meeting and, you know, we're losing it, you know, so that, that now we're talking about getting the work done in December. Does everybody feel that it's, you know, this work is doable in a December, you know, time period? I mean, obviously Mother Nature is going to dictate that inevitably, but, you know. Do you have a contractor lined up? That's, that's something that, that, that mm -hmm. they were going to grab, so they were going to get them. Yeah. So we need is the okay to do it. No. Well, I'll, I'll get our data to over to Mel at some point right. next week. That is a schedule. Um, do you think you'll need some narrative to go along with that? I, I wasn't sure if you guys want to just enhance plans or if you want enhanced narrative. I think, uh, you know, I, I'd say general narrative. It doesn't, okay. you know, nothing, you know, it's self, you know, it's somewhat self-explanatory, but a, a little bit of narrative would be helpful. Don't okay. go overboard, but some, you know, sure. just something. Okay. Mark, I think the 19th is probably the first meeting we could even hope to get to. Yeah. Uh, I, th I think we ought to plan on the 19th. If the people are not ready, all they got to do is say, we're not ready, and we'll have to put it off. But we need to try to salvage as much as we can right now. Every, right. every day now is worth a week later on. Yep. So we're, you know, obviously trying to do everything we can here to, to work with you guys on this. So we're giving you the date of the 19th. Is that something that works can you commit to a you know to be prepared and back to us on the 19th and then you know if we could approve it that night then you're good to go with the work but you know obviously we can set a date but if you're not ready you're not ready so you know we want to make sure that that's an, a, an achievable date for you I think that's probably the earliest I think achievable so. I mean, date. depending on it sounds like you're the yeah. one who has the heavier load yeah but I'm not contracting you guys so it um I, I'll get the data to you and then it's up to you in the town to see if you can make it happen it's a short schedule but we'll come out um, Tuesday or Wednesday of next week and if I can just communicate with you this week and try to find out where that benchmark is right and then we'll come out Tuesday or Wednesday and then we'll turn the data around back to you and then then it's a tight timeline for you guys yep when is the con have you guys already picked a contractor or a <laughs> not yet <coughs> so how long does that process <laughs> take is, that, is it something that's what the bid or is it well under that, 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 that just don't strip it away right now We'll be on it tomorrow, though. No, I just, I know, because if we get to a certain threshold, we have to go get three prices and, and all that. I just right. didn't know if this was going to fall into that, or you yeah. can just pretty much do best management practice and and solicit three people and right. do it that way. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah I know. We, we don't even have three people been on it. But right. I think anything under 10000 with 10000 you can do it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so, so 50, no, no, you can no jeopardy of that. Right. Okay. All right. Any other comments or questions? Well, we have everyone here. Do we have any problems with 
the base of the water wheel as far as any of the construction matter, what, what is there. In other words, the more we can iron out tonight, the less we're going to have to iron out perhaps at a later time. So if we have any problems there, are, I mean, people have looked at it, are you satisfied with the drawing? Does the drawing need to show us more? What, what do we have that we want to ask us? Ask it now and get it out of the way so that we have that much less to take care of later on. One thing I saw in the um, in the binder was that um, I think you had left it where the, the town DPW um, would be coming in with a, a small crane to lift the water wheel and then it'd get shinned. Did, did anybody see that? I in? saw that as well. Yeah, that was a little questionable I, for me. I, I don't know okay, if you... I, I can probably answer that. Yeah, yeah, please. I think the reason the DPW would get in there was, was for the fact that um, they had a tree crane at one time, but what I had told um, Weston and Sampson was, you can move that with a with a wrecker if we had to, but the whole thing is that the wheel isn't that heavy. It's four people can carry it. Two people could lift it. Yeah, I, um, I saw I saw that in there as well as like right. a plan B. Right. Pull, so pull th over. that's not a big thing. But okay. But quite it's often we'll say the DBW will help us because they've well, never <laughs> they've never denied not to help us to do something in the town thing. project. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, any time I've ever called them and I said, is there a way we can do this, they've always been there. I guess I, I just didn't technically know if it was discussed with so it's not DPW it's, and if it's it was... Not, it's not their problem. Okay. It's, yeah, they're and, not uh, being holding okay. Pembroke, Pembroke Karen Fisheries is the one that's going to be responsible for maintaining it and taking care of it and painting it. And, as a matter of fact, it's already been painted in cranberry color to get rid of the red color because some people didn't like that. It cost me $85 out of my pocket to do that, and we repainted it. So. So it's, it's a little bit different color than, than what it was originally to make some people happy. So, but it's not a problem. It's been taken in and out several times, and it's, um, it's, it's not a problem lifting it. So but Herring uh, Commission is going to determine, oh, we're going to have a freeze. We have to raise it so the ice doesn't damage it, or perhaps um, will it have to be raised when the fish are going through? Well, that was something that we talked to Bob about a long time ago, and, and he wanted it on the old location, on the mm -hmm. temporary location. He wanted a lifting mechanism. But, but he you said guys we, said that he said some that men we would need it yeah. at the permanent location. Mm -hmm. But we asked the engineers to do it anyway, mm -hmm. just in case we had to do that. If for some reason we have to raise it, okay. then we can go down there, unscrew it, lift the thing up, put the blocks in there, okay. and we'll be fine. It's not okay. a big deal. It's not Bill, I don't believe it needs to come out of the water for the fish. I still have a little uh, problem that maybe the ice is a problem because that's always been a, been a problem. But that's well, something we'll we can raise have it. to deal with as it goes. Yeah, we can raise it. Because if the wheel stops and it gets wet, the Hanson Historic Society made the, the veneer out of, out of wood to to go around the outside of it to make it look more you know like a like a wooden wheel but if you see today everybody is going to stainless steel and aluminum they're not staying with the old wood anyway because of the maintenance on them so so it's it's um, yeah. I think it'll work out fine but it's you will just have to see how it goes if it looks like there's a problem then um, we can raise it so it's not in the water no, I think you know too, and I've been vocal about it. I, mean, I don't really like the alu the aluminum wheel. I I like that wheel. You know, but that's we have what we have, and that's not going to affect how I handle this project at all. But I, I, yeah. just so everyone knows, I don't really like the aluminum wheel. Well, we, tr we tried to find see. the old one. Yeah. Yes, sir. And, uh, just, I'm Mark Emerald, the Commissioner of the Parent Commission. Um, just a note of interest: I'm building uh, a water wheel for Hanson now from the old mill, and it's aluminum. Yeah. <laughs> and Marsh aluminum is also. with a wood veneer. Because well, I, I can see that. I just, yeah, it, it, my preference it certainly makes sense. Timers. Now, just, just as a, 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 a matter of fact, so once the wheel is in place, it, it is, it, the custodian of that wheel is the Herring and Fisher, right? right? They have full control over what happens to that wheel going forward after it's in place. Okay. Right. Hopefully it doesn't go forward at that point. <laughs> at that point. And Brad, I, do you see any issues with the with the wheel being, uh, you know, in the water and with the fish passage, or is the, you know, the um, the wear is going to take care of any of that? Or yeah, to, to me, it's an operational issue. And um, often we rebuild fishways, we write an operation and maintenance plan, and so we'll probably do that for this site. And it might have one or two bullets on the water wheel, 
and it might be a case where you put a board. Um, the, the upstream concrete weir will have water control capability, putting in a board. And so there might be a case where with certain flows, you put a board in to bring water up for the water wheel and for the fishway. So it, it would be a case of a, a drafted O&M plan that's reviewed by the Conservation Commission as well as the Heritage Commission. Okay. And so a mutual would, document. Would you, would you work with them to make sure, with Western Sampson, to make sure there is an operation and maintenance plan included in the NOI later on? Not, we don't need it now, but before the right. wheel is put into operation. Yeah, we can have a draft, and uh, that's easy to do. What I find is we often have a working draft for three seasons because it takes three years to figure things out. You, you never know how things are going to go right away. And so you can finalize it once you have a little bit of working uh, experience with it. But for this site, it will be very simple. There will be a little bit of water control direction, and then there will be direction on removing debris, showing up, which these guys do all the time anyways, and maintaining the structure. So if one of the manual... Uh, stone weirs gets disrupted, the O&M plan will say rebuild it. So, pretty simple okay. document. I don't think anyone has any more discussion or questions on yeah, the I, I just want to I just want to make sure that uh, any, you know, any comments or questions are fielded if anybody has any. Okay. I just no. it, I have Can we one. speak to the your other your other about the base on this water wheel? That's I'm that's my main concern here, right is here. that it is going to be struck you are you're sure that you're fairly sure that this base is going to be adequate to hold this wheel at all. Yes. And that the way it's shown on the design is it's strong enough to do it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Gino, you had something? Uh, yeah. It's kind of dumb, but the old pedestals that are there, the one that's standing and the other one that fell down, is there any historical value? Are something that can be reused. I want an you know, <laughs> as a, as a, you know, some kind of a monument. Just a, just a thought, you know. Oh, you know be, it, be, so you can all leave laughing. Maybe it could be moved into some place in the park and a plaque put on. Yeah, it. I was just yeah. thinking, but tools yeah. or something, or you know, I don't, I, yeah. I don't know if it's no embedded idea. into a big block that well, you can't. One fell over. I, yeah, so, so obviously <laughs> that one wasn't. It may be separate, but you have two of them. You got the old water wheel. I have the new one. Well, no, the old, 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 old one <laughs> is uh, not available. Anybody anymore. know what actually it's happened to it? Yeah. It's down behind. Way, uh, the way uh, the tools house. They can say part of it was behind in the, one of the houses up in Littles Avenue for a while, but that was only yeah, I think it, it, I think I think it went to New Hampshire. I think they rebuilt the town hall after the fire. With it. Do you have any <laughs> questions about the reinforcements? Uh, well, gonna, we're we're, we're, we're going to see a new plan on that, so uh, no. Uh, I think we've exhausted any uh, questions from the gallery, any uh, uh, questions from the board? Wait, wait, wait. Yes, just one thing. One thing. Um, removal. All covered in this? Anything that wants to be removed out of there? Permanently, not like it, just stored, but removal stuff? Like you just said, the whole piece of the concrete, that's going to be a memorial. About debris. The debris. Well, that'll all be covered with what they're bringing in yeah, next, last for the next year. Yeah. Right. right. Good. Just That's making sure. All right. So, um, you were making a do motion. we have a motion? To continue. Do we uh, continue this till the 19th? We have a motion. At 7:20. Second. Okay. We have a motion and seconded to continue this hearing uh, to the 19th at 7:20. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Unanimously carries. Thank you. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. I'll second that. Is that motion okay? has been made and seconded to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? I think we ought to introduce these two guys. Yeah.